So former Detroit mayor Kwame Kilpatrick, he is getting out of prison. Now he's getting out of prison because Donald Trump has pardoned him. Now I want you to hear a short clip with the sister going to talk about that. They sent a letter to Donald Trump to get this man out of jail and Donald Trump is definitely going to get him out. Let's go ahead and roll that short clip. I had had a previous conversation with him regarding State Representative Sherry Gay Daniego, who brought the letter to the president, and that we had all signed, um, me and my colleagues, to have um, the mayor, former mayor, released. And I'm very excited that he listened. The president actually told me verbatim that yes, he was going to be part of the 3,000 that were going to be released. So Kwame Kilpatrick originally was supposed to serve 28 years in jail. Okay, and he's going to go from federal prison to home confinement after serving only seven years, um, due to the spread of the coronavirus. Now they're saying that they can get people out of jail because of that. Now, of course his crime was nonviolent. Okay. But he wasn't expected to be paroled until 2037. So he would be quarantined for 14 days and then he will return home on June the 10th, according to the Ebony foundation. So, his charges that he had at the time period was basically white collar crime. So he was elected in 2001 on a wave of renewal for the city, but got caught up in a scandal that exposed an affair with a high school classmate. He said when the scandal landed him in court, he was eventually convicted on 24 federal felony counts, which included mail fraud, wire fraud, and racketeering. Okay. So it said the conviction came after a lengthy trial that turned the city upside down, exposed a group of cohorts, in a pay to play scheme that involved kickbacks. Ultimately got his, his father, Bernard Kilpatrick, um, also convicted since the 15 months in prison. His, his mother, former Michigan rep, Carolyn Kilpatrick lost the Democrat primary in 2010. So he tried to appeal twice and was denied, um, until he gotten a presidential pardon uh, from Donald J. Trump. So, I mean, this brother's getting out for a white collar crime and listen, seven years is about the normal time. Somebody stay in jail anyway for white collar crime. Why did they give him 28 years? He didn't kill nobody. He didn't. So I'm glad the brother coming out. A lot of people upset about the way their case went. And even the current mayor of Detroit is saying that he can't wait till he get out because he's willing to even help him uh, get a fresh start because a lot of people liked Kwame Kilpatrick, uh, him being the mayor at the time period. So what could you say? Now, listen, if Donald Trump was trying to get my cousin out, cause I got one cousin that's, you know, locked up and he was locked up, not for killing nobody or raping nobody. It was definitely wrong place, wrong time for him. But if Donald Trump wanted to get my cousin out and he did get him out, I would thank him for it because my cousin need to come home. I mean, seriously, my cousin has been in there long enough. Nobody should be locked up like that. Now, listen, I believe law sentences should be for people who murder, rape, etc. And if you didn't do anything like that, you should be in, you know, 28, 30 years. No, not whatsoever. So there are 3000 people that's going to be let out outside of Kwame Kilpatrick. So those people are going to be definitely happy. And you see a few of the black people have been let out so far. Um, cause of, you know, Donald Trump, you know, pardoning people. Now I know Obama pardoned some people, but man, Trump is letting a lot of people out of jail is what I'm noticing. So why so many people are, are tripping about him? Like, yes, I know he's not the best personality and, and trust me, his press conferences is funny, but compared to with Joe Biden, Joe Biden has locked up millions of black people with his crime bill. And also his, uh, what is it? 86, um, I think it's 86 bill talking about the, uh, changing it from uh, crack cocaine to powder cocaine. I mean, Joe Biden is responsible for a lot of us in jail. So shout out to Kwame Kilpatrick. He's supposed to be coming home. That's good. He can be with his family. And, um, that's crazy. A brother coming home. I remember that case was, was really divided Detroit. But leave me a comment. Let me know think about the situation, you know, with this brother coming home and he'd be go back with his family. And I like to see how this is going to be spent or if people go even cover it because, you know, sometimes, you know, certain individuals in a boule don't want to cover stories like this because it doesn't beat the drum of the Democrat narrative.